Hey, what's going on everybody? Colby here. Looks like Starlink is adding two of the most requested accessories. One for the Gen 3 standard dish and also one for the brand new mini dish as well. So in this video, that's what we're gonna be taking a look at. Let's jump right into the Starlink shop so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm here in the Starlink shop on the standard dish page and I noticed this pop up a few days ago. We've got a brand new accessory called the Starlink DC to DC power supply. So let's view product details on that one. So it says the standard DC to DC power supply is designed to provide, or is designed to power your Starlink standard directly from a DC power source, removing the need for an inverter when powered from your RV, car, boat, or battery pack. So this is extremely good news because Starlink almost after a year that the Gen 3 standard has been out, has finally added a DC power supply option for the standard dish. Now I know third-party companies, like some of the products that I've reviewed on this channel, like the Dishy No AC exist and they work just fine, but it's nice to see that Starlink is offering an official accessory from Starlink themselves to power your standard dish directly off of a DC source. The Gen 3 DC to DC power supply is $110, which may seem pretty steep, but remember, accessories from other companies like uh, Star V mounts, Dishy No AC are over that price, so more than $100. So it's not really that bad, uh, definitely more expensive than some of the cheaper Amazon step-up converters that you can buy if you're gonna kind of hack together your own DC conversion for your Gen 3 standard. But $110 is honestly not too bad for what you're getting. So let's take a look at some of the product specifications so we can learn a little bit more. It looks like you get the DC power supply, which is basically just a step up converter and then a one meter or about three feet DC power cable that interfaces with your battery or RV or car or whatever you're hooking up to. And if we scroll down a little bit more, we get some power specifications here, which is kind of the key of what I was looking for. And I'm happy to report that this Gen 3 standard DC to DC converter is gonna except anywhere from 12 to 48 volts DC. So a wide range there. So it's gonna be compatible with almost any DC system that you have, whether it's a portable power station or your vehicle or your RV, should be compatible with all of those with that wide input voltage rating. It's outputting 56 volts at a little over three and a half amps. So that's around 200 watts of maximum output. So when you're planning this accessory installation, Keep that in mind, your Starlink dish, although the Gen 3 uses only around 50 watts, most of the time it can ramp up to over 100 watts in some situations. So I would be prepared to hook this up to a DC source that can supply at least 150 watts. I think 120 is your bare absolute minimum. So on a 12 volt circuit, that would be, you know, having a 10 amp circuit, 10 amp fuse on that circuit is probably your bare minimum that you can get away with. All right, so connectors, how's this thing gonna be hooked up? What are the connectors that they're using? That's kind of the big question that everybody was wanting to know when they first saw this product. So it looks like Starlink has went with the XT60 connector, which is an extremely common kind of industry standard. You see that a lot with some of these portable power stations and solar and other, other DC applications. So the DC to DC converter will obviously plug into your Starlink Gen 3 router on one end, and then on the other end, you have this XT60 connector. And that's important and that's good news. And let me show you why. So if I come over here, I've got some uh, portable power station accessories that I keep on hand. And I just had this one from, I think I got this one on my um, EcoFlow River 2 portable power station. It just came with it. It's the car charging cable for it. And you noticed on one end, it has you know the 12 volt you know cigarette plug uh, adapter on one end, that's to plug into your car. And on the other end, you have this um, XT60 connector. That's what this looks like. So this is the connector that's going to be on the other end of that Gen 3 standard DC to DC power supply. So this right here will enable you to buy cables like this, third-party cables, just like this one right here. You'd be able to plug it into your car on one end and then on the under, other end plugs into that DC to DC uh, power brick. That'll allow you to power your Gen 3 standard dish directly from your car's 12 volt system. And of course, there's more adapters than just for car adapters. You can buy tons of cables, you know, even 
one that has an XT60 connector on one end and then just bare wire on the other end. So if you wanna kind of hardwire it into your RV system or van, you can do that as well. So pretty much endless options with that XT60 connector. And one last thing on this, this new accessory for Gen 3, I can't really tell, but it looks like it might just be a, a bare end on the other end of that XT60 connector. So the XT60 connector plugs into the actual DC to DC you know, power brick thing. And then on the other end of that cable, it might just be bare wires, who knows? Who knows what they're gonna supply with it? Um, can't really tell from this product specification sheet. The other highly requested feature that everybody's been asking for is more power adapter accessories for the Starlink Mini. And it looks like Starlink is finally delivering because if we look in the shop, we can now see something called a mini car adapter. So for $45, you get this mini car adapter, which is kind of a kit that contains not only the cigarette lighter adapter, but also the uh, five meter USB-C cable for Starlink Mini. So I know what a lot of you are gonna be thinking, $45 is really expensive for what this is, but really it's kind of a, a package deal. So the adapter itself is really cheap, um, just like $14. This kit includes that $31 USB-C cable for Starlink Mini, so that's why it's $45. So it looks like you're gonna to have to buy it as a package here, you're not just gonna be able to get that little cigarette lighter adapter. But what the mini car adapter allows you to do is plug your mini directly into your 12 volt outlet in your car. And I know a lot of people are using the mini for car applications, mobile applications like that, because it's so small, so lightweight, and doesn't require very much power. Most 12 volt outlets on cars or vans or RVs are gonna be able to provide enough power for the Starlink Mini, it doesn't need very much, typically uses anywhere from 20 to 30 watts. And it looks like this power adapter can accept anywhere from 12 to 24 volts. So most, most cars are gonna have 12 volt systems, but your RV may have a 24 volt system and this adapter will work fine with that as well. This mini car adapter also opens up the door for portable power stations that have a 12 volt outlet like this one right here. So this EcoFlow River 2 that I've had for quite a while, I could be able, I'm gonna be able to plug it right into this 12 volt port right there with that cable and the adapter. Plugs right into the mini and I'm good to go. So like I had mentioned in the beginning of the video, the Gen 3 standard dish has been out for almost a year now and the mini has been out for almost six months. Starlink's finally added these two accessories which I think were highly requested based on what I've seen on social media and from comments from you all. People want to use these Starlink units in mobile and travel applications, whether it's you know in a backpack like with the Starlink Mini, or maybe mounted to the roof of your RV or van with the standard dish. In either case, now you'll be able to power them in a variety of ways with OEM Starlink products with the standard DC to DC adapter and then this new mini car adapter. One last point that I'd like to make, because I know I'll probably get some comments on it. Um, yeah, I do think third-party aftermarket products definitely a lot more options out there in in that regard probably as far as pricing goes too it's going to be a little bit lower than what you see here with starlink oem products but the thing to keep in mind is that a lot of people just want a simple plug and play setup and that's what this these new adapters do for you with the starlink units whether you have the mini or the standard and also warranty coverage so when you buy those third-party products you know they're not necessarily compatible with starlink starlink's not going to honor your warranty if something happens with your, your homemade you know, DC conversion for your Gen 3 standard. Something goes wrong there and it ends up damaging your dish. You know, that's on you because you're using you know, unauthorized products to power your Starlink dish. If you use the Starlink OEM products, you're covered under warranty because those accessories are official and they allow you to keep your warranty coverage. And finally, the last thing is support. So when you're using third-party routers, third-party power supplies, et cetera, Starlink won't offer any type of support if you have any issues. They won't help you with troubleshooting on anything but Starlink OEM equipment. When you buy something like this new uh, mini car adapter or the Gen 3 standard DC adapter, now Starlink includes that as part of their support system. So if you have any issues with your RV and using that system with your 12 volt DC system, you can actually reach out to Starlink support and they will help you troubleshoot any issues that you have because it's a OEM official product. So yes, these new Starlink accessories aren't really anything new or, or super innovative, but what they are is they offer people a simple plug and play setup 
an OEM product that is covered under warranty and is eligible for support assistance from Starlink. So those are the uh, a few of the main reasons why somebody would pick an OEM Starlink accessory over third party. And of course, I purchased these accessories within hours that they came out because I'm always checking the Starlink shop for new accessories. So I will bring you a review and installation tutorial as soon as I can, as soon as I get these products in. Looks like the shipping timeline on these is multiple weeks out, so I don't think they have very much inventory able to ship. I think they, you know, when they launch these new products, it seems like they just put them out there. They don't really announce them or anything. They don't have a ton of inventory. So I'm gonna be waiting a few weeks to get these, but I will get that uploaded to the channel as soon as possible, as soon as I can make that video. Make sure in the meantime that you're subscribed with notifications enabled so that you can never miss any of these new reviews that I put out. I'd love to know what you think in the comments below. These two new accessories, are you gonna pick one up or are they too expensive for you? Let me know in the comments below. I'll chat with you there and I'll talk to you in the next video.